The MTSU men's tennis team is back from the ITA All-American Championship Tournament after falling short in the qualifying rounds. Junior Ben Davis entered the season ranked 92nd in the nation and fell in two straight sets to a Texas A&M Shane Vincent in the final qualifying round. In doubles action, Davis and partner Christoph Long received a bye in the first qualifying round but fell in the third round of matches to Jordan Angus and Malte Strop of Mississippi State. Next up for the men's tennis team is the ITA Ohio Valley Championship in Memphis. That tournament will be held between October 18th and 22nd. One of the UFC champions will be looking to continue his winning streak. UFC light heavyweight champion Anderson Silva will be looking to continue his 15-match UFC win streak on Saturday. Silva will be taking on Stephen Bonner in a non-title fight that is scheduled for a maximum of three rounds. This is the, the champion's first fight since he defended his title at UFC 148 when he knocked out Shale Sonnen. UFC 153 will begin Saturday 9, at 9 p.m. Central Time. One former MTSU football player has traded his cleats and pads for boots and a lasso. Running back Aram Trey Lewis came to MTSU in 2010 on a football scholarship after a successful high school career in Birmingham, Alabama. Shortly after being redshirted his freshman year, Lewis blew out his knee on a play that tore his MCL and ACL. Lewis came to MTSU as an agricultural major and has recently got into doing rodeo. He competes in various team roping competitions and his goal is to win a medal in a U.S. event. Now, Clint, now we both know no matter how good the news is, you have to end it off with a really good fist bump. That's right. All right, so I'm thinking okay. me up top, okay. you here, okay. and then boom. That's all right, but I got an idea. How about, how about if I, how about that, then there, then that? I got it. I got okay. it. Okay, okay. Nerds. The Middle Tennessee State University Blue Raiders will look, be looking to continue their winning ways when they return home. The MTSU Blue Raiders women's soccer team played the Troy Trojans on Friday in Murfreesboro. This is the Blue Raiders' first home game since September 23rd when they defeated Arkansas State. The Raiders will be looking for continued success from seniors Paige Goglin and Whitney Jorgensen. Looks like the number one ranked player in the NBA, LeBron James, said no to playing in the Heat's preseason opener. James opted not to play this past Sunday, or if any at all, throughout the preseason games. His strategy behind not playing is for LeBron not to overwork himself before the start of the regular season of the NBA, where the Heat will play the Boston Celtics. After all, he did just win a playoff and an Olympic gold medal, so this time off is rightfully owed. A former Blue Raider is getting a chance to make all his dreams come true. Rick Cochran, a former MTSU golfer, has been selected to compete on the Golf Channel's Big Break. Big Break is a widely popular show that eliminates one player per week until there's only one golfer left. The last golfer standing at the end of the season will receive an opportunity to play a PGA Tour event next summer. Cochran, who is the nephew of Champions Tour legend Russ Cochran, was a star for the Blue Raiders 2008 NCAA Tournament run. The show airs on Tuesday night this fall at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Tune in and let's watch our fellow Blue Raider make us proud and win this competition. The 2012 Sunbelt Player of the Year is getting set to start his new career in Greece. Former Blue Raider Laron Dendy recently signed a one-year contract with Europe's A1 League and is ready to compete. Dendy contacted GoBlueRaiders.com and mentioned that his experience at Middle Tennessee State has definitely played a major role in his preparation for the next level. Although Dendy says he misses his family and friends, he stated that they support him to the fullest and understand his grind. They say what goes up must come down, and our Middle Tennessee State University Quidditch team has found a way to get this magical game of the sky played on the ground. In 2011, the team members became a part of the International Quidditch Association. By April, they were approved as an official campus organization, and since, they have adopted the name the Blue Thresholds for their team. As in the J.K. Rowland series, the game consists of two teams of seven who ultimately, whose ultimate goal is to capture the Golden Snitch for the win. The team practices every Sunday at 1 and will host their first game against Belmont later this month. The Middle Tennessee State University Blue Raiders will be looking to continue their winning ways when they return home. The MTSU Blue Raiders women's soccer team will play the Troy Trojans Friday in Murfreesboro. This is the, the Blue Raiders' first home game since September 23rd when they defeated Arkansas State. 
The Raiders will be looking to seniors Paige Goldglen and Whitney Jorgensen for continued leadership. Thank you for joining us for NSEN's Halftime Show. Enjoy the rest of the game. I'm Channing Martin. And I'm Lawrence Overton. Go Blue Raiders. Jordan Powell, Fantasy Zone, all of your fantasies for 